let's look at this one now. Number one, question number one says um, S plus negative seven over negative one. S is negative three. So negative three plus negative seven over negative one. This is going to become negative three minus times plus or plus times minus is minus then that's negative seven there over negative one then this is negative ten over negative one so negative cancels and we have um, ten not negative ten so what did you get for number one negative twenty one Oh, that was because you multiplied. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. And you're not supposed to multiply. So let's look at number two. Oh, number two. One B. Number one B. So we have three minus negative four. Then X, which is three. And everything all squared. So this is going to be 3. What is minus times minus? Now the plus. Are you looking at this? Positive. So minus times minus yes. then becomes plus 4. Then, or before I even do the plus 4, sorry. Because there is a 3 outside this bracket, which must be considered for the bracket first, okay? Okay. Negative 4 times 3, that's negative 12, okay? Okay. Then everything else squared. Then now, minus times minus is going to give us plus. So we have 3 plus 12 all squared. And 3 plus 12 is 15. What is 15 squared? Yes. 13. No, not 15 times 2. 15 squared, that is 15 times 15. So what's the answer? That is 225, okay? Okay. So you need to remember your specific numbers. Then number 2a, we have w, which is negative 1, plus another negative 7. So plus times minus is minus. So we have minus 1, minus 7, and the answer is minus 8. Okay. Are you looking at what I'm explaining? Yes, I am. Okay, so in 2B, let's see in 2B. I didn't put it out. I did, I first did all the one A's, and I did it one B's. Okay, first, you did all the A's first, right? Yes, because oh. I didn't know it was in that order. Okay, you didn't check it. I, I'm not even hearing you clearly, it's so faint. So, uh, let me check your answer for. And notwithstanding, did you, do you understand that your answer is wrong to 2A? That's what I'm saying. Huh? Okay. Is that correct? Yes. And, and so, yes. So it's, so it's not about the order which you did your question now. It's about the principle of uh, the something. So let's look at 2b. 2b is negative 4 times v. And v is negative 7. So negative 4 times negative 7. Then over 
c squared c is negative 2 so all squared this is going to be negative 4 times negative 7 is positive 28 and negative 2 all squared is positive 4 so your answer is going to be 7 for 2 b so if i locate 2 b in your question this is 2 b okay which is not uh which is not correct. So just take note of the steps. Then, so 3A now. So 3A or number 3, simply put. I have negative 5D, and D is 2, so that's negative 5 into 2 plus negative 6 in the bracket then u outside the bracket which is 7 now minus 3 this is going to be negative 5 times positive 2 is negative 10 then plus this is negative 6 times 7 is negative 42 then minus 3 so this becomes negative 10 plus times minus is minus 42 then minus 3. So all of them are going to be negative altogether. Negative 52 minus 3, that is negative 55. Is that correct? Is that correct? Favor, can you hear me? Is that correct? Yes. Good. So number four, 3B. We have q squared when q is negative 10. So that is just negative 10 all squared. And that will be negative 10 times negative 10, that is positive 100. Then number 4. Okay. four. I have 10 q minus 4 raised power 5. Wow, that's a, that's a big value. That's all the raised power 5, okay? Okay. So what is Q? Q is 7. That is 10 times 7, then minus 4. Everything raised to power 5, okay? So 10 times 7, okay. 10 times 7 is 70. Minus 4, then raised to power 5. And what is 70 minus 4? 66. So that is 66 raised to the power 5. And what does that mean? That is 66 times 66 times 66 times 66 times 66. You can imagine how large this number is going to be. 66 times 66 is 4,356. And times another 66 is 287,496. Then times another 66 is 18,974,700. That's 4 of 66. So times one more 66. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that will be. 1,252,332,576. So that's 1,252,332,576. This is a weird evaluation. Okay, now the next one is 4B. B. Question 4b says 5b, then b is 0, so 5 times 0 is 0, okay? okay. Minus negative <coughs> 6, then everything all squared. So since this first part has a 0, this is 0, so all we are left with is negative into 
um, negative six, negative six, then all square. Okay. okay. And this is minus times minus is plus. That is plus six square. And that is. Um, That is six. That is thirty-six. Okay. Um, number. So you're understanding this, right? Are you getting this? Yes. Good. Good. Yes. So I'm going to do number five. Or let me just leave it at this number four. You're going to write the solution down, okay? Then you continue from number five to seven. You cross check very well. You do it all over again to make sure you don't miss anything, okay? As your assignment begins tomorrow. Uh, exactly. Yes. So this is going to automatically become your assignment which i will send over to your mail but i will move it up now for you to so this is uh, it's a what? it's a spin okay so you can start writing the corrections okay okay meanwhile uh, okay.